one step we need to do before installing Mbari is to set up passwordless SSH on our CentOS boxes. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to generate a key on our master node and send those out to our data nodes. I wanted to caution you that this sounds very easy and if you're familiar with Linux and you've done this a couple times, you understand that it might be trivial. But if it's something you haven't done before or something you haven't done in a while, you want to make sure that you walk through this step. One of the reasons that you really want to walk through this before we install anything Ambari related or Hadoop related is because this is going to help us troubleshoot problems that we might have with permissions. And so if we know that this piece works, we can eliminate all the other problems. No problem if you haven't set it up before. We're actually going to walk through that in a demo here. But first, let's just look at it from an architectural perspective. So what we're going to do is on our master node, we're going to generate both a public and a private key. Then we're going to share out that public key with all the data nodes. And what this is going to do is this is going to allow for master node to log in via SSH with no password into data node 1, 2, and 3. And so since master node can actually log into these, we only have to install Ambari on the master node and then allow the master node to run all the installation on all the other nodes. You'll see more of that once we get into installing Ambari and Ambari agent. But just know that we have to have this public key working in order to have passwordless SSH. The steps to walk through it are pretty easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to log into our master node. We're going to create a key. And so we'll type in SS keygen. From there, it'll generate the public and private key. And then we will copy the public key to data node 1, 2, and 3. Next, we're going to add that key to the authorized list on all the data nodes. We're going to test from our name node into data node 1, 2, and 3 just to make sure that our passwordless SSH works and that we can log in as root. Now let's step through that in a demo. Now we're ready to set up passwordless SSH in our environment. And so in my environment, I have node one, which will be my master node, and I'm gonna set up passwordless SSH on node two, three, and four. But in this demo, we're just gonna walk through doing it on node one and node two, and then we can just replicate it, the same process on the other nodes. So the first thing we need to do is on our master node or node one, we're gonna generate our public key and our private key. So SSH keygen. We're going to keep it defaulted to go into the .ssh folder. I'm not going to enter anything from my passphrase. And you can see there's random image and we can run an LL on our .ssh directory. And we see that we have both our public and our private key. And now what we need to do is we need to move that public key over to our data node one. And then we'll be able to log in without using a password. So I'm going to clear out the screen. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use CP and just move that public key over to node 2. And so since we haven't set up our passwordless SSH, it will prompt us for a password here. And so we've got the transfer complete. And now I'm going to log into node 2. Still haven't used that password. So if we run a quick LL, we can see we have our public key here. And now all we need to do is set up our .ssh directory and add this public key to the authorized keys. So we're going to make that directory, we're inside that directory, and we can see nothing's in it. Now it's time to move that public key into this .ssh directory. And we have our public key, and now let's just cat that file. We're going to create an authorized keys. And we have two files here, so we have our public key, and then we've also written an authorized keys, which is going to be that public key. So we're going to exit out. And as you can see, I'm back in node 1, so now we should be able just to ssh in and not be prompted for a password. And you can see now we're here in node two. So that's how you set up your passwordless SSH. We'll need to do this for all data nodes that we're gonna to add to the cluster. And this will allow that once we have Embari installed on our name node, Embari will be able to go and make changes to all the data nodes and do all the updates and upgrades all at one time so that you're not having to manage each individual upgrade, each individual update.